This is a day in the life of a Japanese game planner for Street Fighter VI. Alexa. This is Tsuyoshi, 29 years old, living in the heart of Osaka, Japan, and he's just waking up for work. Damn, heavy metal to start off the morning! He lives alone in this 1DK apartment, meaning one dining room and kitchen, which is quite typical in Japan, as the average living space for a single person household is 29.3 square meters, 315 square feet. Oh, you iron your hair? I see. So Tsuyoshi is originally from Toyama Prefecture, which is between Tokyo and Osaka up north, and attended a grad school in Tokyo, but ultimately moved to Osaka to pursue his dream. So unlike most typical Japanese salarymen who have to endure crowded trains for their commute, Tsuyoshi lives within walking distance to his office, which is rare for living in the city. Good morning everyone, I'm back with another day in the life. This one has been a couple years in the making, maybe even more. Personally, I have a lot of childhood memories for it, so I'm super excited to get this day started. Luckily, Tsuyoshi should be coming around the corner now. Good morning! Did you sleep well last night? Okay, so on his way to work, he picks up his morning breakfast at the local Japanese convenience store, which normally offers a wide assortment of sandwiches and onigiri rice balls. And this is where he works, Capcom, one of the top video game companies in all of Japan. Founded in 1979, Capcom has been a pioneer in the gaming industry for over 40 years, now with about 2,900 employees, all working together to develop iconic multi-million selling title franchises like Resident Evil, Monster Hunter, and one of my childhood games, Street Fighter. Tsuyoshi himself has been working on the latest version, Street Fighter VI, for the last five years as a game planner. As soon as he arrives, he checks his emails and also reviews game sites as part of his job. So why do you read about game news? Well, that makes sense. Tsuyoshi, what are you going to do now? Now he meets with a UI designer. I guess they're reviewing if the changes he requested earlier to the cutscenes were implemented correctly. A key part of his role as a game planner is to meet with the various designers and developers to ensure that the game is implemented as conceptualized and completed on schedule. And now they need to finalize a character's icon by adjusting the view angle, hair, shadows, etc. It's such a detailed process. Dope, they finalized it! <laughs> nice, the designer is sharing omiyage, aka souvenir snacks. In Japanese companies, it's customary for employees who take holiday to show a sign of appreciation for their co-workers who covered their workload while they were away. Now back, he has some desk work. Oh, fireballs, you use two controllers? That's dope! Also, as previously mentioned, in Japanese game development, the job title game designer is rare while game planner is more common, most likely because a designer is thought of as a person who focuses more on visual aesthetic, while a planner is involved in the entire creation process, which I'm gonna show you today. So Tsuyoshi, were any of your own personal ideas added to the game? Battle Hub is one of the newest 
features developed for Street Fighter 6, where players can meet up, chat, fight head to head, and even play classic Capcom titles in a Game Center esque world. How'd you come up with the idea? Tokyo to ka. 大阪とかはすごいそのゲームセンターでストレートファイター2とかですごい盛り上がってた時代があるんですけどすごい田舎だったんで僕はその時代を経験したくてもできなかったんでのそういう思いもあってこのバトルハブっていうのを作っていたっていう感じですね。Wow. Can I see the proposal? あ,あります企画書。Yeah, that one. Wow, that's brilliant. His idea made it into the game. So it looks like Tsuyoshi is going to be doing his thing for just a little bit. So let's do what we do and check out what's going on in the streets. Let's go check out some of these desks. Wow, their desks are filled with character goods. Oh, that's Goki, who first appeared in Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And this person sure loves M. Bison. Yo, you've got a lot of mini cars. I like paper. Ain't that life, my dude. So I hear that there is a sound studio somewhere around here where they do the recording. Let's see if you can find that. And here it is, it says Foley Stage. Oh, and for sure, those aren't the workers' shoes. Oh, is that guy fencing? Excuse me, what are you doing? Ah, I see. He's recording the sound effects for Dalsum's stretchy punch. Hey, so are there any surprising materials you use? I use a blanket to use a blanket. I use a blanket to use a blanket. No way! Mind blown. Okay, so I want to know, how do you make Chun Li's sound effect? I use a blanket to use a blanket to use a blanket. Oh, yeah, that sounds more like Chun Li. Apparently, their Foley studio makes use of all the various tools, materials, and gadgets stocked here to produce creative and unique sound effects found in their game. After the recording, the Foley artists adjust the sound to match the game, like adding a slight echo. Can you guys hear the difference? Hey, do you mind if I look around a bit? Thanks. Wow, just look at all this stuff. This is pretty crazy. You can see that even the floor here, they have different materials so that they can make sounds. Maybe even this guy right here probably can make sounds. They have all like the garden supplies right here, knickknacks and everything over there. They even have a dinosaur here. Where do you think they've used this sound? Oh, I think I just popped. Maybe we'll put this down. Now Tsuyoshi needs to meet with the Batoruhan, aka Battle Team. This character's movement is correct, and a little bit of the movement is correct. I'd like to confirm that. Let's check it out. So another one of his responsibilities in the game is a live commentary during the fights. And in order for him to fully write his script, he needs to re-clarify some of the character's skills in detail. And what better way to gather the insights than from the battle specialist? Damage is increasing. Ah, right. 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 Ah, はい、そっちのジョブ、本当に好き。僕はそうですね、バトル部分のその全般、対戦に関わる部分とかは、大体監修とかしてたりとか、まあ時にはそのキャラクターの調整であったり、作戦をしてたりっていう。Oh sweet. So overall, what's the strongest move in the game? 一番強い技。このゲーム全体で言ったらドライブインパクトとジャストバリなんじゃないですか。ああ、perfect parry. So do you have a favorite character? これは難しいです。なんかその偏りすぎるとちょっと微妙なところもあるんで。このキャラが一番好きみたいなのは作らないように対戦とかしてるんで最近は結構ザンギスとか使ってることが多かったんでザンギスは好きですよ本気で戦う時は決まりつかいます You guys ever have a company tournament? 年末でストレートファイター6でチーム内トーナメントっていうのもやったりすることもあります Apparently the battle team is so strong that they have a separate tournament with just themselves So can you tell me about any fun facts about the game? アピールするっていうコマンドがあるんですけど面白いネタが仕込んであるらしいです
Ah, she's mocking us. Hmm, let's go talk to someone now. Oh, it looks like there's someone over there. Hi, can I bother you? So what do you do? No way, the director? This is insane. So what makes Street Fighter 6 different? Apparently they added two new features called World Tour, which is a story mode, and Battle Hub, which Yoshi is responsible for. So can you tell me any secrets hidden in the game? Oh, can you tell me one of them? By the way, how long have you been with the company? No, Cap! Crazy! So what was challenging for you personally when making this game? So did you ever work with the people who made Street Fighter 2? Oh hey, do you think you can create my own Street Fighter character? Holy Zangief, I feel like I need to do some push-ups right now. <laughs> maybe that could be my three-point celebration, but maybe not that one. And I can fight too? Liddy, thank you so much. Okay, let's see what's through here. Huh, espresso yourself. Looks like they have their own Starbucks coffee center. So you choose your drinks here, and then it looks like you can pay right here. Huh, it's pretty convenient. Awesome, they even have Baskin Robbins here. Here they got snacks on the honor system. You paid 100, 150 yen. You just put it in a little deposit slot right here and you take your snack. Yay, lunchtime! Today, Tsuyoshi is gonna eat with his co workers at Capcom's exclusive employee only cafeteria. He says that he often goes out for lunch but enjoys coming here to enjoy the cafeteria's unique menu items. What'd you get? This is a collab food for Street Fighter 30th anniversary. Dope! So, what do you do? So, be honest, what's the most challenging part of your job? <laughs> I see. Do you have a favorite character? What do you do? Oh, what did you study in school to be able to work here? I see. So what do you like most about the company? I'm sure. They say that the employees in the company all have different educational backgrounds with different skill sets. But one thing that all of them have in common is their passion for the game. It's something embedded in their company culture which they truly value. What's happening now? So Tsuyoshi not only scripts a live commentary, but he's responsible for how it sounds in game. So he needs to meet with a sound designer to ensure that each phrase matches the overall game concept and design. Some of the commentary has already been recorded, which they're reviewing now. He says that having the ability to make decisions on part of the game that users will actually experience and enjoy inspires and motivates him to keep creating each and every day. 
Nice, now they check the sound in the actual fight to see if the commentary matches the character's moves and captions. <laughs> My man, you got a lot of USB drives there. So tell me, what's the best part of your job? Awesome. Wait, what's going on? Here comes a challenger, Street Fighter's real deal music composer. Apparently, these random matches happen often here at Capcom. But make no mistake, when a challenge request is made, there's no other option but to accept. Tsuyoshi so says, as a true gamer, he loves what he does. Not only does he get to play Street Fighter 6 at work, but loves the franchise so much that he even plays the older versions at home. And even when he has to work overtime, he enjoys the challenge because it means he gets to build a better game. <laughs> so, who won? <laughs> Where are you going now? Apparently, how he spends his time after work really depends on the day. He either goes out with his friends for a drink or spends time on his hobbies like playing the guitar, video games, or riding his CBR400R. But today, he's going shopping at his company's Shinsai Bashi store. Oh, I guess he decided to get that view cushion. I'm sure his friend's gonna love it. Before going back home, he stopped by the supermarket to pick up a bento for dinner. Finally, home! What did you buy? That's a steal! In fact, it's rather common for Japanese supermarkets to offer discounted foods in the evening to minimize food waste. So many cost-savvy shoppers love to take advantage of these bargains. After a long day, Tsuyoshi enjoys being able to simply relax at home, enjoy his favorite show with a nice cold highball. Oh, he's busting out the guitar! Okay, so it looks like Tsuyoshi is going to be drinking his chuhai through a straw and playing his guitar probably until 10 o'clock where he's going to take a bath, come back, probably play some games and go to sleep probably around 12 or 1 o'clock tonight. But that's pretty much a day in the life of a Japanese game planner. If you guys like this video, like always, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out the Tokyo merch. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.